Where's the sun at? There's no sun today. I'm trying to do solar and I have no sun. <laughs> and I'm in a dark shop. So, um, is the camera gonna do good in here? Not much, but anyway, um, I've got the solar done. I got all the wiring done, the, hook, uh, the, the, the charge controller, the uh, inverter, the batteries, all the cabling, everything's done, okay? Uh, I've been working on that all this afternoon. Now, let's go up on top and I'll show you what I did here as far as to get the cables inside. Now, uh, I can never remember parallel versus series. I know what they are, I just can never keep the two straight. I've got one, two, three, four 300 watt solar panels, okay? 300 and 300, that's 600. 300 and 300, that's 600. So I've got the front two, one and two hooked together to make a 600 watt panel, and three and four hooked together to make a 600 watt panel. Parallel and parallel, running together in a series or series and series running together in a parallel. I don't know. But anyway, they're, they're, I got it hooked up right. I just don't, I can never keep the things from, can never remember to keep the two straight. Anyway, they come over to a, a Y uh, connector, run positive and negative. Uh, the red one is positive right here. And the top one here is negative. Okay. Anyway, they come into this little, I can't remember the name of these things. Um, Electricians use them for uh, their conduit. They run uh, wiring through here. Uh, and it's a, a 90 degree elbow, okay? So they can come in and run the wires the other way and then they put this box on here and, and it's a real tight junction instead of the big curving. Anyway, uh, and also you can, these and they got bigger and bigger and bigger ones, but they go on like the side of the building. So if you have uh, electricity coming up from underground, coming up and then into your building, you can put these on there and uh, they're weather, weather tight, okay? So um, anyway, I run them in here, up and down through. On the inside, I put a nut and a washer and tighten it down and then put die coral around here. Run the cables up in here. And then after I got the cables run in, before I put the lid on, I put die core, probably about this half of it here, this, this quarter, right where my finger is on the inside. So this is hollow up here, but about right in here, I, I just filled full of die core. And you can see it running out right here. Just, it's a little bit of it kind of dripping out down here. But there's so much of it in there, there's no way water will spray up in there. Another thing is uh, the curvature of the roof, it's downhill, okay? And when you go from the side view, it's cocked back a little bit, it's not square, okay? I'm cocked it back a little bit, why? Because when you're driving down the road and rain hits this, it's, you know, going the wrong way, you know? So it won't push it, push it up in there, okay? So anyway, that's all, and then put some decor around the, the seam. All right. <clears throat> Go inside and show you this. All right, up here is the uh, where it comes in the nut you know, washer and nut comes in, and I made a nice bend here so it won't you know abrase and, and cut on the uh, the insulation there. Um, put a keeper right here. Put a keeper right there into the switch. Okay, you got your positive, which I've marked with red tape, and. Uh, Positive comes in and then inside to the charge control. The negative goes straight into the charge control. So I can turn the panels on and off with the switch here. Coming out of it, you got positive, comes in through another switch, and the negative comes through, goes straight down to the batteries. Okay. Now let's get downstairs here, lower for you. There now, when I want to turn the solar off, I can turn that switch off. If I want to turn the batteries off, I can turn that switch off. All right. If I want to turn everything off, I just turn both of them off. Anyway, positive and negative comes down here, comes over. Positive goes straight to the battery. Oh. Positive comes straight to the battery down here. Negative comes over and goes to this bus bar. Okay, bus bar goes to the to the batteries and to the uh, inverter. Anyway, that's the way Tom told me to hook it up. I don't understand it, but it's hooked up exactly the way Tom told me to do it when we were out there in Arizona. Um, so, anyway, four battle-borne batteries, 100 amp hours a piece, so 400 amp hours. Oh, the lighting is terrible. Sorry about that. Didn't notice. <laughs> now it looks like Vincent Price. <laughs> Good evening. Anyway, so, um, anyway, got it all hooked up right. Got this Vitron uh, uh, battery monitor hooked up into the shunt. And, uh, anyway, it's all working. Now, if you come up here... Let's see, I don't know if you can read this, and this, this camera isn't very good at real close range. But uh, anyway, I got 13.2 volts in the batteries right now. This is what's coming in, it's 12.7 volts, but zero watts. That's because I'm inside on a cloudy day. 
Uh, and also these batteries are topped off. I don't think it wants any electricity right now. Once the batteries run down a little bit, I think it'll be looking and trying to, I would think I get 10 or 15 watts just with ambient light, but I'm getting nothing right now, but I think it's because they don't want any electricity. Um, so anyway, uh, got the electricity or the, the, the solar completely hooked up. The only thing I need. Ninety degree uh, brackets, uh, angle brackets, and I'm gonna put one on each side of each solar panel. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Say eight of these. Okay, one will be on the front, one will be on the back. Now I can just drill a hole into here and in the side of that, put a bolt in, and I'm done. Don't want to do that. Uh, for just for flat, would be great. Just leave them and be done with them. I wouldn't have to put the hinge on there if I'd have done it that way. But I want to be able to lift these up and I don't want to have to take that bolt out every time I want to lift the solar panels up. So I'm trying to think of some kind of like a spring clip. Put these in here and then have another piece of metal come up and somehow clip over the top. That's what I'm thinking. Here we go. Clip over the top. So I come up, maybe clip over the top and then the solar panel as it raises up, it, it can't raise up because the clip is holding it down. When I crawl up there on a ladder, I can just clip, clip, raise the thing up, put my, my braces in and I'm done. When I get ready to go, pull the Take the braces out, pull it down, and it goes clip, clip, and you're done. That's what I'm trying to figure out a way to do. Um, one, of the, one idea is a piece of real, you know, flexible sheet metal. Where's a pencil at? And I don't know if we can see this. Let me turn you around. All right. Here's, here's that L bracket, okay? Here's that L bracket I just talked about. Here's your solar panel coming in like this, okay? You're gonna, that will lift up and down. Yeah, can you even see that? Oh, never mind. Don't. <laughs> it, it, I'll figure it out and then I'll show you. But that's the only thing I have to do is figure out some kind of clips on here. <laughs> I didn't plan this. You can tell every bit of this is ad-libbed. I just go as go with the flow. Uh, anyway, figure out how to bracket or bolt them down somehow. Other than other than that, I'm done with the solar panels. So what else I'm doing is. Uh, I started moving on to uh, laying out a floor plan in here, which I'll do on another video. But I'm trying to lay out some kind of a floor plan, get ideas how I want to do stuff. And uh, working on uh, Google SketchUp, doing a little CAD on there. Everything looks pretty good. And uh, oh, the family's here. Where's the white one at? Where's the white one at? The white one's hiding. Hmm. Where's he at? I don't see it. It's a little little heifer. Don't know where she's at. Anyway, bull and three mamas and three calves. Uh, the two black calves, black uh, black mamas, and uh, the uh, white mama. She's got a white calf somewhere, and I don't know where where is that. But anyway, that's the new addition to the family. So, and oh no, those are not my cattle. Those are my neighbor's cattle. And there she is, way over there. Can you see her? She's way over there by the fence, on the other side of the fence. And Mama, she sees me coming out. Look at her. She's getting all concerned. I better go get my kid. So. <laughs> oh, they're all going to take off. <laughs> well, that's what you get for coming out and disturbing them. So, they were mowing my yard. They were mowing my yard for me. So, anyway, uh, that's enough for today. Me rambling on. And uh, y'all have a good one. And uh, get the light better. There we go. So, anyway, life is good get through this coronavirus stuff and we'll all be great whatever so all right take care bye-bye